Hi, I'm uh, Peter Westerberg from uh, Westerberg Guitars, uh, Luthier in Sweden, and my uh, companion. And I'm Jim Herlin. I started uh, building guitars in my teens and uh, worked professional for three years in the 90s and had uh, regular jobs in until six years ago I started my workshop and building full time. This one is uh, it's more, I would describe it as a hot rod and it uh, it's more like an, uh, it's very old school everything. It's uh, pine and it's a little thin, it's like 40 millimeters like the old early fenders were and uh, Hence, it has an uh, all maple thick V neck without a truss rod as the old fenders. So it's very special, and it's, uh, it's I would like to say it's all my uh, visions in one guitar. W what makes a, a killer tone? Yes. Here we have one also in pine, it's more traditional with a truss rod. And, uh, it's P90, it's made by a Swedish guy called uh, Seven Engineering, who makes uh, hand wound, only made for uh, uh, a custom. And it's a half bridge uh, tiller style as well. Also pine, also a little thinner. What do you price this? It's like uh, 2,500 euros. And this is. It's more cheaper than uh, it's regular uh, custom builds I make. So. And the finish is ma made by a guy called Ulf Forslund in uh, Upper Sweden. I send them there, he do the, the finish, so it's a very rough finish. It's, it's, not, it's not really a relic, but it's very uh, special. And it's the same with this one, it's a strat. He also has done, <laughs> and it's very thin. Uh, like I, I th <laughs> it's a rather thin finish because uh, I don't like th uh, thick uh, lacquer. Uh, it dampens. It dampens the wood, yeah. the, the tone too much. Yes. So. Do you do nitro or? Yeah, nitro, but uh, this one is not nitro. It's uh, shellac. Okay. Uh, but I do nit just nitro, no plastic lacquers at all. And uh, this one has an old style. It's like you've seen on 50s guitars. It's, I found very expensive new old stock in uh, USA. I just had to have it. <laughs> this is my brainchild, so to say. Um, it's a work in progress. Uh, I started working for Peter uh, in order to, uh, what to say, do some repairs and uh, give him some more time to build guitars. And then I just decided that I would like to uh, build a guitar that I doesn't dislike. Uh, I'm, I've been playing bluegrass all time, finger picking style, mainly acoustic. So I had some, what to say, uh, visions. Yeah, and also I had some... I, I disliked electric guitars. But uh, I can repair them, but uh, I, I don't really like them. So I started uh, thinking how I could make a guitar that I doesn't dislike. And uh, this one turned out. And it's... Uh, yeah, I used the Telecaster shape, since we had uh, the shape, what to say, prepared yeah and it's uh, easy to make uh, when Peter is already building telecasters so all the parts are in the shop but uh, the idea with this one is to create uh, a very crispy natural what to say almost acoustic sound to it so I chose uh, cedar wood to make the body very very active or uh, very responsive and I also use this uh, seven, uh, seven engineering to uh, make me a microphone for it. And it's a hybrid between several different microphones. 
to create this uh, acoustic-like, crispy sound, very natural sound. It's not, uh, it's not meant to uh, play with much distortion, but I think it would do very well. It, well, if you push it a bit, it starts to sound like a Taisko guitar. It's an, uh, also an all maple uh, non truss rod with a sharp V neck. Yes. As you can see, it's very sharp, like old Martins Vegas from the 20s. And it's very light, it's Seda, red Seda, so it's uh, half the weight of a regular Telecaster body. I think the body measured like 1.3 kilos yeah. before we attached all the parts. Thank you for your time and if you want to know more check out Vesterberg Guitars on Facebook or Instagram or our webpage vesterberggitars.com. Okay, thank you. Thank you.